All right, so I don't mean no disrespect, but yo, the other day I went to church with my pops, and you feel me? That shit was chilling. Shit went to church with my pops and my girl. It's the first time my girl met my pops. We took a trip to L.A. and shit, and that shit was real booing. Church service was a little long, but that's not what I'm gonna get into. Church is out, and they're like, you feel me? We got food and stuff. You feel me? That you could eat after. And I plan on taking my dad out and shit because I ain't seen him in a cool minute. And I was like, you feel me? Like, I was like, what are you doing after church? He was like, they're having some food. You feel me? We can just sit down and eat and we could chill. And I was like, all right, chill. So get up in there. Visitors go to the front of the line. Yeah, feel me. But we went to the front of the line. Got a plate of food. I sit down and start eating. This shit's fucking so fucking good. Had some broccoli, some mac and cheese, barbecue chicken, had some uh, Hawaiian rolls, and they had fucking uh, Kool-Aid. Like, of course, black church got Kool-Aid, but they got Kool-Aid and shit, sipping on that, and it's fucking good. You know it's hella sugary and shit, and it was fucking great anyway. It's exactly how I make my Kool-Aid. Every fucking person's house I go to that's black, it's exactly how they make their Kool-Aid. I went to my nigga Asian house, my nigga, and my Asian nigga don't know how to make that real nigga Kool-Aid. My girl made Kool-Aid when she went to Chicago for a few months, and she said all the black kids was like, what the fuck is this watered down bullshit? Niggas know. We drinking like damn near diabetes. Like the cup is the fucking secret to getting diabetes. Just that one cup of Kool-Aid is diabetes. But we fucking, uh, we eating and shit. And I kicked it with my dad and stuff after church. We went to go see my uncle out in, uh, over in Compton. Church is in Compton. And it was like probably a five minute drive. Went to go see my aunt. I'm sitting in the front seat. I'm like, God damn, my stomach hurts. Why does my stomach hurt? I know I haven't eaten all day. And that was the first thing I ate. But why does my stomach hurt? I don't fucking know. Go throughout the rest of the day. I meet my, uh, well, not meet my uncle. I meet some of his, like, other, uh, like, I guess, daughters or whatever. Like, I haven't known. But caught up with my uncle. You feel me? Met one of his partners and one of his girl partners. And uh, they're all chilling, playing pool and shit. My dad played pool a little bit. And we leaving the whole time. I'm like, fuck, my stomach hurts, nigga. We dip from L.A., head to the, oh, I think it was the first stop. And my stomach hurts like a bitch. Why? Who the fuck knows? Come to find out I got a shit. So I take a shit. And the whole ride home, my stomach still fucking hurts. This was yesterday that I went to church with my dad and all that. And my stomach was still hurting. Drove all the way home, got to the house, took a shit, went to bed, woke up in the middle of the night and took a shit, went to bed, woke up, walked my girl to the fucking uh, car, came back upstairs and took a shit again. I've taken probably three shits today. My stomach, at this very second, still fucking hurts. And while I'm talking, I gotta go take a shit. I don't know what it was. Like, everything was fucking good. Nothing was like... Like, everything was fully cooked and everything. Like, I don't even fucking know. Why? I don't know. But I've been having the shits all day. And that shit pissed me off. But, you feel me? Like, black church and you giving niggas the shits. Like, you got great Kool-Aid, but you guys can't fully cook food right? Like, if that was the case, I know something was the case with the food. Because my stomach didn't hurt like that before anything. Something with that food. It was something. I don't know what. Because everything was hella delicious. But something. And my girl's stomach hurt too. Something with that food. I don't fucking know. But it's alright, I guess. I'll, I'll get through it. My stomach still hurts. But I'll get through it. You feel me? That shit just made me hella mad. Shout out to these motherfuckers for giving me a $2 scratcher. You feel me? $2 winner. Dollar scratcher, $2 winner. You feel me? Good shit. Fuck this crossword shit. Because these niggas didn't give me not even fucking two words to get a ticket. So suck my dick. Shout out to Aspire and Since It's Hercules. Because this fucking combination with my vape with the gold tip is dope as shit.
And I want to give a special shout out to, I don't know his first name, but Kishimoto, the guy that did fucking uh, Naruto. Oh, you motherfucker. Do you know you made one of the wettest TV shows? Oh, you motherfucker. He made a dope ass show. And you know I'm not knocking Dragon Ball Z because I watched that shit first. And you know that shit's like the greatest fucking first anime to ever fucking come out in the history of fucking TV show animes. You feel me? But it's good. You feel me? I'm high. Like, I'm high. If you ain't already know. I'm sure you know. But I'm high. But you feel me? I'm going to close this one now. I just wanted to talk about why I got the shits. Like, and it was supposed to be like... We had church, like, ain't no harm supposed to come towards you. But I still got the shits. After a full day, it's one, it's been a full day since I ate that food. That's when I ate it, like, around one. It's been a full day, and I still got the shits. So, thanks. But you feel me? Side, I guess. So, anyways, that's the end of that shit. You feel me? You're just gonna be fucking gone, like, you're gonna be out this bitch, like, poof, nigga. About to play some motherfucking ninjutsu. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. I call it ninjutsu, you feel me? And shout out to my brother Jap. But you feel me? Just about to play some ninjutsu, you feel me? So, y'all have a good ass day. Keep it real. Keep it 100, my nigga. And remember, if it age is on the clock, don't give it a cock, nigga. <laughs> Obviously, like, you feel me? If you if you 18, then 13 and shit like that don't work either, but... But you feel me? It's okay. Like, don't. 13 to 17. Sometimes 17 is acceptable when you're 18, but still. Like Drake said, I ain't trying to chance it. Like, I ain't trying to, I ain't, uh uh-uh. I ain't trying to take my chances, nigga. Like, I do not want to take my chances. It's bad. But you feel me? Keep shit like that in mind. Real shit.